Da -da, drum roll. Boom. There it is. Let me turn this down. Rocking some chili peppers. Sorry, I got some uh, ATF chapstick on right now. Caught a drop on the lip. Um, well, here you are looking at it. Yeah, the infamous mech unit. Yes. So, I'm looking it all over. It's kind of surprised. Alright, tips. Leave the six bolts. I mean, there's enough thread. You can get almost a half an inch out of each bolt. Leave it in there, that half an inch. And if it doesn't seem to just keep to slide straight out, I just tapped it with my fingers, to be honest. And that thing just started to do, 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 come out. Um, this piece here, you can see, just keep an eye on it. It kind of sits up flush in that uh, in the spot inside the trans. So you really don't have to worry about it. There's another wiring harness that's under the, under there. You don't have to take it off. Just the clip itself. Uh, just give it, you know, a little bit of pressure. There's one of those locking tabs. Slide it up, you know, push the tab in the lock tab, and then pull down in it ever so gently until you get it out. A little bit of wiggle, she'll come out. Uh, the tube that was up there. I don't know. Just get back under there because that's all the stuff. There's the clip I was telling you about. Uh, just wiggle so gently. Uh, the white tube, I didn't have to do anything with it. It sits in there on the transmission itself. Those two little uh, uh, pump lines, uh, trans lines, uh, keep them in there. The way they're situated, once you put your mech unit back up, they're gonna slide right into the spot where they were. Just make sure you push them back up into their spot uh, before that. Um, let's see what else. The piece that was on the side, it pulls. You just give it a little bit of wiggle to, to break the seal, and it pulled right out. You can see it. that's it right there. That's the inside. There's two more uh, tubes that go to the mech unit itself. Uh, I got change fluid on my phone. But, um, all in all, yeah, it's got a little bit of weight to it. So, if you got a buddy, have him give you a hand. Um, or this is a great bonding moment with your dad or your son. Uh, me, it would be my son, but uh, yeah, I don't have one of those, and my daughters are too far away. My one daughter wouldn't care, but my other one, oh yeah, she'd be down here getting dirty with me. That's, that, uh, ah, anyway, whatever, I'm going off. Uh, now that you got it off, you got a chance to take a look under there. Uh, grab your high-powered light, just look. Um, when I pulled my pan off, nope. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have no signs of shavings. Um, very minimal on the magnets. Uh, this is a pretty good magnet. There was nothing on there, and there was, you know, the typical residue. So I don't have anything chipping. Uh, and checking this over, you can see what that fluid does. I mean, it it beats these things up. I'm going to uh, check all of these real quick, make sure everything's pumping, uh, everything's getting a signal, and, you know, it's all reading the right little voltages and nano voltages. Um, uh, let's see. What did I want to tell you? Oh, yeah. Now, if you're just doing the wire harness replacements, which I'm doing, the two replacements, you do not have to have it reprogrammed, okay? But when you, if you're going to change the control module, which is, I think this is, whatever, it's all right here. The control module and the, uh, the TCM are all inside here. If you change that, yes, you have to have it programmed. Um, if you replace any of the solenoids, yes, you will have to have it programmed. Um, but just the wiring harness alone, negative. You do not need to have it reprogrammed. Um, but if you're, like I said, you're going to take off any of these, uh, any of the solenoids, any of the servos, yeah, then you're going to have to have it reprogrammed because they're going to be set in a different uh, angle altogether than where they were or how they were. Yeah, it looks like I am seeing an issue. Huh. I'll be able to tell once I get this off. 
but it looks like I'm um, hopefully I'm right I look like I see something an issue there's one of these boots it looks like it's ripped so that could be an issue huh. okay all right now the fun begins besides the wife just came to the door with a big armful of clothes so I got something I gotta do first but there she is mech unit down uh, let's see the getting the mech unit getting this all apart uh, just this part here with so, you know the taking the trans pan down to getting the mech unit out it took me about I don't know 20 minutes but then again uh, highly skilled I've been working on cars since I was nine years old and I am uh, 40 years older than that now so 40 years so, but it, all in all, this isn't a super hard thing to do. You really want to be careful. I'm going to tell you this. I probably start doing these for guys. Uh, this went really smooth. Um, so I'll probably start doing it. I'm not going to charge seven grand like the uh, dealer does. For some reason, they want to remove the whole transmission to do this job. I don't know why this was not. Uh, that kind of difficult um, oh, One thing I did do maybe a quick note. I set my gear selector, which I have the automatic as you can see I set mine in the car at neutral uh, then disconnected my battery okay, so These all have to slide back up into the notches in the trans so to be out I Don't know what park looks like but I figured I'd just go ahead and set it in neutral, and I kind of thought it would put them all evenly, which it looks like it did. I don't know if I'm right. If it does that in park, I don't know. But I did that just to be safe. Uh, so that's another thing you want to make sure. All these slide right back into the... There's a arm sticking out with a square in it that goes over all of these. It slips over these. Or basically, you'd be slipping up inside of them. And you can see they're all... They're staggered a little bit, so... That shouldn't be, it should slide right in. Uh, I'll let you know if I have an issue with that. I don't think so. Um, this is a pilot for it. Like I said, this wasn't it wasn't hard to do. Now, if you take it out and you rip the plug off, you rip, you know, any of the wiring by not being sure, not being conscious of what it is you're doing, yeah, you're probably going to run into some trouble. So, um, this... I would say it would be pretty experienced uh, just to be on the safe side. I'm not saying anybody's a dumbass, but you know, you want to be take all the precautions before you start to pull it out, uh, making sure you got everything out of the way, and then make sure you remember where everything's going to go back into and do it so slow that you can hear tension. You can hear a little crack or a pop or something. Take a look, find out what that is. Um, like I said, this is plastic. This is metal. You know, so those scenarios, plastic always breaks. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and pull these wiring harnesses off to give this a little clean up and uh, get her back together after I find out what the wife wants. Alright guys, I'll be back later. Bye.